Hello everybody, this is Denis Lequeur from PeacefulAnarchism.com. I have a friend that works in a software company. He's a software engineer, computer programmer. And he was telling me that they are actively trying to make machines and programs to replace what they are doing to effectively put them out of the job. But they will be having new jobs in the company, such as devoting more time to creatively finding new ways of making the company more efficient and productive. Now, most people would think, why would they do this? This is counterintuitive. This is counterproductive. Who wants to be put out of the job? Now, this goes back to a fundamental fallacy of economic thinking of that there are a fixed number of jobs in the economy and this is just plain wrong the amount of jobs in the economy is always flexible it's always fluid it's always in motion it is not about creating jobs it's about creating wealth for time immemorial Human beings have used technology and machines to improve the efficiency of their lives, to turn backbreaking labor, human labor, into much more productive and efficient labor, such as what machines can do. And this has given rise to an explosion of population. Whereas at the beginning of the 20th century, there were, we were struggling to support about a billion people on planet Earth. Now, we have 7.7 .7 billion people and we are thriving. Indeed, we have an overabundance of resources and food. How is this possible? How can this be? We have exploded with people and each of them demanding resources. How can we have so much abundance? And this is primarily due to the fact that the more people that are in existence, the more likely there will be problem solvers and innovators and creative thinkers to come up with ingenious solutions to economic problems, to food agricultural problems, to mechanized problems. And it is to the benefit of, of us all to have as many people as we can devoted to solving these problems. We have benefited greatly from this idea of machines replacing backbreaking labor we have been able to, due to the existence of these machines, we have been able to specialize in many fields that previously were impossible. Because if you are devoting most of your time to sewing your own clothes, to constructing your own house, to growing your own food, to killing your own food, you will have much, much less time to devote towards more higher level intellectual activities towards spiritually fulfilling activities. So not only has it contributed to the explosion of population, but it has also contributed, contributed to the heightened levels of spiritual fulfillment and happiness that such abundance and productivity produces. So automation, far from it being something we should fear, Automation is something that we should genuinely celebrate and give thanks for. The, you know, in, um, in Soviet Union, in communist China, you can, you, you, you would have been able to see how they would put people to work digging ditches. You can put people to work digging ditches and filling them back up again and you can call that work and pay them uh, by the state. And you can say that is work, but in the end, they are merely wasting their time, energy, and effort. 
for economically useless endeavors. So the idea of what an economy is, it's not merely activity. It's not merely the exchanging of pieces of paper, fiat currency approved by the state. No, the idea of what a true economy, a true thriving economy is the production of wealth, the elevation of prosperity, right? When people are free to interact voluntarily with their fellow man, that is automatically an increase in happiness, that is automatically an increase in efficiency, an increase in prosperity. So autom automation is something that I hope will continue to occur as fast and as fast as that does occur, that's the quicker that we will achieve freedom, freedom from many of the many of the onerous tasks that we must do today, uh, even though those tasks are rapidly dwindling and diminishing. All right? Think of think of a hundred years ago, the machines that did not exist that today make our lives so much easier. Uh, the washing machine, the dishwashing machine, <laughs> uh, air conditioners, um, heaters, cars, you know, so many things, you know, even, even for entertainment, movies and, you know, the internet and TVs and um, so many things you can think of that machines have done for humanity that it's difficult for us to express gratitude, but sometimes it's necessary to reflect on how much easier our lives are today as compared to our parents or our grandparents or our great grandparents. The things that they had to worry about, the things that they had to take care of and do are perhaps not even, not even a fleeting concern of most modern day people. And this is a blessing. And this is a beautiful thing. And it should be appreciated. So thank your local machine for putting you out of work. <laughs> because then you are able to devote your time and your resources to greater activities that bring you much greater senses of fulfillment and happiness. This is Daniel Quayer from PeacefulAnarchism.com. I hope you have a magnificent day. Thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this content and would like to see more of it, please feel free to donate and help me interview other fascinating people. You can do so through Patreon. That's patreon.com slash peacefulanarchism to help me out. A dollar a show is all I ask. If you feel so inclined to donate more, please feel free. It will only assist me in spreading the message of freedom and volunteerism that much farther and that much more efficiently. You can also donate to my Bitcoin. My Bitcoin address is in the description to my videos as well as on my website, peacefulanarchism.com. And while you're on my site, there's a donate button to donate through PayPal. If you prefer to donate through PayPal, you can do so with that. But Patreon is a little bit easier for content creators as you can set up a recurring donation if you so desire. Also, while you're on my website, peacefulanarchism.com, please feel free to sign up, enter your email address, sign up for my newsletter, and you'll receive updates every time I post something, a video or an interview. I do not send out any spam. Or you can also follow me on Facebook under facebook.com slash peaceful anarchism or facebook.com slash Danilo Cuellar 3, I believe. Danilo Cuellar 3. So either, either one of those methods, if you are able to donate, I would be most appreciative. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you have a magnificent day.